I'm a former member now a chairman of called uh, uh, technology is driving change world in government uh, in the time it takes uh, the federal government to do one budget uh, here in Washington uh, six generations of technology come and go uh, and so um, uh, I'm going to change a lot of what we do of government practices uh, in order to keep up with the uh, speed of change in the world. Well, the more we can uh, uh, understand moderates in a lot of countries uh, uh, that are under uh, attack uh, exist, uh, the more we can dialogue uh, with those moderate elements, uh, the, the more I think we have a chance of a, um, a situation the radicals can't uh, gain as much control as they have thus far. Uh, the, the point is that um, uh, many of those radical elements literally reject uh, a modern technology, modern education, right. and so on. I mean, the, uh, modernity is a... Yeah, you know, uh, uh, ...is uh, something that, uh, that they simply... Uh, uh, with ...and um, to some extent, uh, just the nature the rap rapidity of the change is what drives some of their uh, anger at the present time, too. And, um, um, the, the solution to that is to make certain that uh, the opportunity countries not uh, siding with the radicals, siding with technology that can uh, produce uh, all kinds of uh, better things for the future, including products. Well, I think. I think that we see in Turkey uh, that the promise of Ataturk uh, in having a uh, cultural society uh, 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 based, uh, uh, but nevertheless recognize the strength of all cultures. Multicultural societies uh, uh, are, are uh, strengthened by their community, and uh, that that is the uh, role model for uh, much of the that uh, on the Middle East.